Hey y'all, what is up? It's your girl Destiny Ariana and today I'm back with another video. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. I am a college student. I go to Bowdoin College and I'm also a freelance graphic designer and artist. So this is my life. But today we are going to be doing a senior year dormitory video for Bowdoin College. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what my room looks like as of now because I know a lot of you can't be on campus and want to see campus. If you're interested in seeing what my senior dorm currently looks like stay tuned and keep watching but if you want to subscribe please go click that button and make sure that you go do that now i appreciate it thank you okay so before we get into the tour i'm going to give you all a little background on the room that i'm staying in this semester i am living in osher it is technically freshman housing building but i'm here because it's covid time and i'm living in a single this is typically a two-person bedroom so i am living spaciously so we won't hop into the tour right now so the first thing that you guys see when you walk into my room I put my jackets up here on this little hook so they can hang and then this room actually has a cubby for your shoes or whatever right directly inside. So as y'all see, I got my shoes stored in there and then because it's COVID time, I have all of my cleaning supplies right here easily accessible. I use this medicine ball to basically um, <laughs> stop my door and I need to run out really fast but don't want to grab my phone. So that's that. And then, like I said, the cubby is here directly when you walk into the room. So then I have a mini hallway, which I think is really cute. That I'm gonna show y'all right now. So this is my mini hallway that I have as soon as we walk in. And I have a mirror, of course. That's a little fit of the day. But here's my mirror. Love to like check how I look before I leave, of course. And I put this up with like command hook straps, whatever, and it can easily come off. Okay, so since I did the pan around, we're gonna hop right in. So over here, I have my little coffee section. So I have two coffee makers. I have this one, I actually just made coffee this morning. Then I have a mini like espresso, Mr. Coffee, like mid cafe, espresso machine or whatever. Then I have my microwave and my good old fridge right here, you know, Miss RT. So we got some canvases and stuff that I gotta take to the studio, but that's irrelevant. So. Here I have my desk. Um, it's pretty basic just because I like to spread out my things. So I don't keep a lot of stuff on my desk in particular, but we have our calendar. Uh, we have our little station where I can just have my notes. Pencils, of course, some hand sanitizer, and I have some essential oil mist just for my room that's sitting there. Actually just got some lunch, so that's my lunch. That is not decor, it's not. Then we get into my dorm decor. Of course, I love my dorm decor. I make this really fast. I can actually make a video for you guys if you're interested, but these are canvases from Dollar Tree and some regular old Sharpie and acrylic paint. So definitely a less than $10 DIY. If y'all are interested, let me know in the comments below, but here's some art that I just have up. Here is my favorite part of the room, the ginormous window. I love it so much. View is amazing. I can see the stars. I can see um, the sunrise in the morning. It's just really beautiful and gives me a lot of sun. It's not too sunny today. It's sunnier this morning, but y'all can see still that I get so much light in this room. So that's that. I have some lights up. I'm gonna show you how my room looks. I have some lights up that are around, but you guys will see that when I show you the night version of my room. So I have this little couch um with a throw and i have a rug that i got from like walmart and i have my entertainment section this is different i've never actually had one of these but because of covid i actually decided that i wanted to invest in entertainment being in my room living alone i want stuff to do to keep me entertained pick up a new hobby while you know just being in my room and not being able to do all the other things that i would normally do on campus so I invested in a monitor and a game console. So I got the PS5, as you guys can see there. So my P5, my monitor, 
and a little light because sometimes I'll just like to sit here and do some work next to the window and stuff like that. So now we're gonna pan over here. Um, have another piece of art that I made. I really like this. I did it for class in like 10 minutes and it was really fun. So as you guys can see, all the art in this room is made by me. So it's kind of cool, it's really easy. Wouldn't mind showing you guys how to do it. Um, but yeah, so I have this little cute aesthetic looking fashionable area, I guess. But these are my wardrobes that I personally stacked together. Um, have all my clothes in there and then I have some boots that are cute two bottles and some flowers that definitely need to get thrown out right after this video but I thought they looked pretty so I kept them there um, here are like my favorite pieces I guess to wear that I just definitely need to hang up and then over here I keep my ring light my iron just so they're away we got a little bag simplistic i think this is the most minimalistic part of my room then here is kind of cluttered i'm trying to actually look for like cleaner organization like get me some bins from dollar tree when i end up leaving campus but here's my snack station so we have all of my things i can heat up in the microwave all my cleaning supplies plus more for laundry and stuff like that and then this goes with my coffee station uh basically all my stuff to make my coffee my matcha blah 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 some cereal um and then up here i actually so disorganized disgusting but i have my workout stuff for when i do my in room workouts this is something that i actually really like but it is my mask uh hanging situation uh so i keep my mask here because i always have to remember to grab them before i leave so all of them are here and i get to pick which one i want to wear for the day then i have like two bags here they're just hanging um but that's my common space y'all i'm like walking and i keep hearing my joints like crack and it's bothering me so if you're hearing cracking i'm sorry i'm sorry but now we're gonna head into the room so this is my room very simplistic if y'all watch my other dorm tours y'all know that i don't do basic but this is the most basic dorm i've ever had but i kind of like it but i kind of hate it anyways so <laughs> this is my bed i have brought my ugg comforter set from home because i love this comforter set so comfortable so warm and had to bring it so i have that nice throw i got from walmart two pillows basic but i sleep good at night so that's all that matters um this is the second bed that i was telling you guys about that i'm not using because this room was made for two people not gonna lie if i was in here with another person i would feel kind of cramped but because i'm in here by myself i feel like i have a lot of space um under here i have my second refrigerator that wouldn't actually provided um during this time Back here, I keep my shower caddy, bonnet, towel, robe, whatever. I just do that up there because I went outside, like I said. Ring lights over here. I don't know what this is. Some like abstraction thing in thingamajiggy, whatever is going on. Like I said, I just wanted to fill my space with some art. So listen, it's gonna get better as the semester progresses. But for now, we're kind of struggling. Over here, um, I actually have my plant babies. So these are my plant babies and my plant light because what I noticed is that when they were in the sun, they were getting a little too much sun, but then also at night it would get super cold and I had them out there with the big window. Like I thought they would like that light, but it turns out they didn't. So I kind of kept them like this at home. So I just did the same thing. So they get their light here and I set it, got a little timer um and yeah so then i have this beautiful elephant that i got from my great grandmother um i have two more books here very disorganized again like i said but it is okay i can see everything that's all that matters to me i have my hair products blow dryer flat iron whatever everything there brushes combs blit and then here we got a mixture of hair products and hygiene products so sprays and all the stuff that makes me smell good and then here all the stuff to make my hair look like this because you know it's May we need moisture we need moisturized hair if we're gonna have our natural hair out in the winter in May so yes that is my hair section y'all see we got a lot of products definitely gonna do a video on that too so stay tuned 
Um, and then the rest is just like skincare. Over here, I like this little nook corner. Another mirror because I love mirrors, as you guys know. So yeah, this is my mirror. Um, and then I have this cute little chair that I actually like sometimes to sit in the morning and just kind of like look out the window, just take time to myself when I don't want to be in my bed. My Nana actually made me this when I was a freshman and it's made it with me this far and it's going to make it with me for the rest of my life. So nice little relic here that is dear to my heart. Here is my window. I actually made this little succulent. Uh, I really don't know. It's like not coming to me right now. But this little succulent garden, I guess, with stones and stuff. All Dollar Tree, y'all. Like, what was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Less than $10. So this whole thing was about seven bucks for the two packs of rocks, all the different succulents, and then this little tray. I think it's really cute. Um, and then I actually have lights that are hanging. You guys can't see because it's bright, but I have lights hanging up in my room that I will show you guys when it is nighttime. Um, but also, like I said, underneath the beds, there are two storage units. And like you guys can see and kind of put two and two together, the ones that were under the second bed, I stacked and put out here because I just thought that it would look better like that. But that's my dorm tour. Um, as of right now, that's how everything is looking. I'm really happy with my room. Like it's super comfortable, super spacious. I get amazing lighting, uh, it's really peaceful, I love living where I live just because like close to everything in proximity, it's not too far, um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here because I don't want to drag it out too too long, but I will be right back when the sun starts to set so I can show you guys how my room looks at night with the different lighting situations, my LED lights, my star lights, all those things. So Okay, so I just got back and I wanted to show you guys how my room looks now that it's dark. Uh, so I have this little, this is also the front of my room. So I have this nice little light fixture that brings light to this little area. You see that? Period. So I think that shows it better. Let's just look at that. Yeah, so this is the light in my little like entryway. Then we have this overhead light that kind of just lights up the room i don't like this light too much but i think there's also another one that makes it even brighter you guys can see that that's just the standard dorm lighting so now i want to show y'all the lighting that i like the most so let's turn the most exciting part are my leds because we love led lights don't we so these are my led lights this is my warm setting I like to do this when I'm just sitting, chilling, eating dinner, um, or doing some light homework. But this is also one of my favorite settings. It's a nice purple, bright vibe we got going on here. Y'all can see instantly that my plant light kind of just illuminates this whole room to looking pretty purple, which I really like because it saves me money and not having to get LED lights, which is amazing okay so now we are going to activate my favorite part of the room which are my starlights if i can turn them on this is embarrassing now look y'all they're not even working oh they worked so these are my starlights so these are my starlights they add a different vibe to my room um, it's really pretty and I really like them. I got them off Amazon. I'll link them below. But they're really pretty right now. They're showing you all the cool effects. Like, it's so amazing. And I kind of just strung them across because I wanted it to look like a starry night sky, whatever. So, that concludes my room tour. Um, I hope that you guys liked it. Again, this is Osher. Um, I'm at Bowdoin College, obviously. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys liked it. This is my dorm. It's subject to change throughout the semester. This is how it is now. I hope that you guys liked it. Hope it was informative. I'll let y'all know what I got in the link below. Um, I'll link the things that I got that I think are really cool down below. But if you ever just want to know what I got and I didn't list it, just comment and I'll let you know. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support, all the love, always. Um, make sure to subscribe if you are not already. Um, and join the team. Support me and my content. And I'll see y'all on the next video. You know what it is
Peace, no.